All right, well, hello Haunted Heart Society viewers. I am coming to you live from the spare bedroom floor for the first time in quite a while, and I'm coming to you today with a sewing project. I'm gonna be doing some 1950s spooky witch sewing. We're just gonna, we're gonna see how it goes. Um, as you can see, my fabric is creeping over here. Okay, I, oh, it's my water bottle. My water bottle's leaking everywhere, so I'm like, what are these puddles on my floor? I have already pre-washed my fabric, and I'm pretty much, I've picked out my pattern and my materials, so I'm about ready to go. I am going to be using Simplicity number 8085. It is this cute little vintage 1950s recreation. The original one looked like that, and this is like their, you know, modern vintage recreation. I'm going to be making the long version of the bias tape. I might be adding the waist ties here because I like having bows. I also might slap pockets on. Who knows? Because pockets are amazing. So this is the fabric that I picked out. I actually bought it at Halloween last year and I have been sitting on it for almost a year. So this is my fabric. I am obsessed with it. It's got super cute little potion bottles with spooky eyes, the black cat and the key and the eye as like tarot cards. They're obviously not real tarot cards. Little gray potion bottles that say drink me, pinky purple raspberry colored books that say magic spells, planchettes, you know, all sorts of cool spooky stuff and I'm obsessed. I love it. I'm not going to iron it because it actually came out of the machine pretty good. It's not wrinkly at all. And then yesterday after work I picked up a raspberry colored bias tape which is pretty much the same color as the inside of a lot of the you know raspberry colored items I am going to make size whatever style a and that calls for four and three eighths yards of 45 inch fabric or four yards of 60 inch fabric dress B the short one calls for two and three quarters or two I bought five I have plenty I'm gonna do whatever I want with it so let's do this thing it's actually only a few pieces which is nice so there's bodice front bodice back pocket belt and tie which I'm probably gonna ignore anyway and a ginormous circle skirt I think am I supposed to cut cut two yeah cut two so uh yeah I might play around with that a little bit and cut one who knows we'll decide all right, well, I hit a bit of a snag because this piece is so bleeping ginormous that when this is unfolded, it takes up the entire thing. And the big problem with that is that it starts right side up over here, and then as it sweeps across the fabric, by the time you get back here, your dress is going to be, you know, your skirt's going to be sideways and upside down. So what I am trying to do at this point is figure out if I can just basically cut that pattern piece, you know, behind me into three panels and then just do panels, one, two, you know, all the way down and see if I have enough uh, because it is excessive how much fabric that would take up that way. And I mean, as it is, if I just cut these two like this, I'm going to have more than enough fabric to get the bodice out of like literally, you know, this much fabric. So I can get that knocked out. I have to figure out how to do the skirt because yeah, that ginormous circle ain't gonna fit on what I've got in any method that's gonna look good because again, the pattern's gonna end up completely sideways. If this were polka dots or something, it'd be fine. But considering this is a very one directional pattern, it ain't gonna work that way. So uh, please be mindful of that. If you are deciding to follow along with this and or make this, you either want to pick a pattern that is multi-directional and does not matter, no pattern at all, or a, you're going to end up in the same pickle that I'm in right now. So what I'm essentially going to attempt to do here is get as many of panels like this out of it as humanly possible. I have gone ahead and pinned this down along the fold with the straight of grain going this way, and I've gone ahead and put my yardstick all the way up to the corner, like up to the edge, as far over as I can go. And I'm basically just going to flip this pattern piece over and just cut right along this and get as many of those out of it as I can and uh, hope for the ever loving best here. All right, my machine is prepped. Uh, everything is cut out. I ended up getting four skirt panels 
out of it. Um, they're probably like a quarter circle. So instead of having a circle and a half, give or take, I think I'm going to have like one full circle, which is probably enough for me. I also cut out the belt because I found on, for like what, 75 cents, a beautiful vintage Bakelite buckle. I thought it would look cute. And uh, I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to basically start on the belt first. You're going to attach this ish to the wrong side and then the other thing to the right side and then you flip it inside out i read the instructions vaguely i also have my two pockets i'll decide how i'm going to do them and i have pin marked my darts god i don't know why that took me so long um, and I can't find my disappearing ink pen, so I'm just going to very carefully mark my darts on the inside of the fabric. And who the freak cares? No one's going to know but me. They're going to know. How would they know? But they're going to know. So, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and get started on this-ish. I'll probably do the belt first just to get it out of the way. Then I will get all the skirt panels put together. I will do the darts in the bodice and put that together. And then basically you just attach, attach and run bias tape around the whole thing. It's actually really a very easy dress. So let's roll y'all. All right. All right, so I have gone ahead and done the darts in the front. I think it's gonna fit. I did cut an eight in the end and not a six. I also finished the belt. So now I have to decide, do I want the skull side or the spooky sneak hand side? Skulls, snakes, skulls. All right, so I think I already did. No, I didn't. All right, so I'm going to have to mark the darts in here, sew those, and then I'm going to do sides together with a narrow stitch, and we'll see how that goes. If I have to take it in, I have to take it in. But uh, then I'm going to put all my side, my skirt sides together, and uh, this will be nearly done. This is a very quick project here, huh? All right, let's go. So, since I have seen you last, I have got the bodice entirely put together and all four skirt panels sewn together, though not finished on the inside. Okay. Ugh, directions. The directions stated as such, and I followed them out of order, but I followed them vaguely. Uh, to go ahead and stay stitch the neckline, put all the darts in, stay stitch the back neckline. Then it wanted you to put the shoulder seams together, bind the sleeves, and then sew them in the sides. I didn't do it that way. I actually put the sides together, then bound it and closed those in the shoulder seams. The other thing I'm thinking is that normally I would have just bound the armhole completely, but I was lazy and didn't want to have to figure out doing that today. So... I just put, went ahead and closed it up in the top. Uh, the other thing I did is that I went ahead and I flat felled the inside seams here and here. I will probably flat fell the skirt seams as well, but right now I have a All right, so I have a whole bodice here. One, two, wraps around in the back. All my darts are in. I are, like I said, I have the belt. I'm just waiting for the buckle to come in. That'll be a few days since I literally just ordered it. Uh, I actually went ahead and I opened up the arm side because when I put my arms down, it was like poking me way up there. And I knew once I put the binding tape on, it was going to be uncomfortable. It didn't open it up like crazy deep or anything. Like, I don't think you're going to be able to see my slip or my bra, but either way, I just wanted it to be a little more comfortable. And I might even need to take these in some, but we'll see. It's not like they're going to fall off. It is wrapping around completely with extra, obviously. And this goes, um, even the third panel went way, 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 way around my body. So the fourth panel will have plenty. Um, and I think even enough to have some gathers. So I might put a couple of little darts or pleats or something in the front just to add some interest. Okay. So that is where we're at. Um, I took a break and did some dishes so we could get uh, dinner kind of going. Uh, I am obviously not stay stitching three skirt panels. I made four skirt panels and they are entirely different shapes than the ones that the pattern demanded. <laughs> Clip waistline edge of skirt to stay stitching? 
with right sides together. I'm just, okay, you know what? I hate pattern directions. They're stupid and they don't make any sense most of the time. So I'm just going to continue freewheeling this um, the way I know I can. So if you're following this, I apologize. Feel free to follow the directions. I'm just going to wing it because I know what I'm doing. So what I'm going to do, I am going to stay stitch this. Uh, I don't know why. I don't really care. I never do this, but I'm doing it. So I'm going to stay stitch the edge here. Then what I'm going to do is with right sides together, ease the skirt to the bodice. I lied. First, I'm going to finish these. I'm going to finish the insides. Then I'm going to ease the skirt to the bodice, and then I'm going to have to hang it overnight. I probably will bias tape the, the back edge and the neckline, but then I have to hang it overnight because these are, while these panels are cut on the straight of grain, the side edges are going to be on the bias, so some of this will probably warp, and then I can hem it tomorrow. So that's where we're going to be at, and then this will be finished tomorrow. I probably also have to put snaps or something in it because I realize it doesn't explain closures at all. So yeah, I didn't read the instructions all that deeply. So either way, like I said, I'm winging it. I got snaps somewhere. All right. Stay tuned. All right. So it's not quite done yet because it still needs to hang overnight, but I got the bias tape done on the neckline and the back area and I did that all the way <laughs> straight down the edges um, I went ahead and I put a snap in right there which is exceedingly hard to do up behind your back for whatever ungodly reason just a heads up um, this dress as I eventually went and read all the things it's supposed to close with three snaps, I put a tie in on this side and I did a snap on this side and I'm just going to stand up here real quick so you can see. So it is really long. I think I'm going to take the hem up quite a bit before I decide to uh, do it because I mean it is, it, I mean it's long, like it's coming up to like way down here and I don't like that. I want it to be taller or uh, shorter and cuter, but either way, I uh, still have to add the pocket, but it is, and I did, I did the three bows on the back, which I think came out really cute. Honestly, I am liking it. This is the eight. I actually think that if I had made a six, um, it would be fitting me like skin tight exactly as it is. It's a little baggy in a way I'm not like a, big fan of, but I could put on, oh, I'm also, I'm wearing like a sports bra and have been all day. So I have to remember that. And, um, I'm guessing it'll probably sit more on the points of my shoulders here like that. But yeah, so, uh, I got almost an entire dress done in one day. I only have a couple little last things to do on it, but yeah. All right. Yay. I'm tired. Um, I have to look up some 50s hats and decide, like, can I make a hat? What what kind of hat? Either way, it's 11 o'clock or something. And I'm going to drink some water and probably go to bed. I might kick in. I don't know. I have to try it on with an actual bra. We'll see how it goes. All right. Good night. All right. Well, she is done. I figured I would come share with you my final thoughts. The pattern was super easy. Um, actually, the hardest part was getting the hem really even because um, it was super long and I wanted to cut off like a solid four inches from it. So uh, the first thing I did was eventually just hang it up and trim it as best I could so it was all even, but then it was still really long. So what then I did was I like laid it out like side seam to side seam as best I could and pinned the same amount, 24, I did 24 and a half inches from the waistline down and pinned and then cut. And even that was still a little bit off. So then when I had it hung up, uh, I noticed that the front was still off. So then what I did was I laid it out like, oh, then I laid it out back seam 
to front seam, did it that way, nicked it off, it worked out. Either way, eventually you're gonna get it right. So it is super also easy to put on, wrap it around, tie your string and snap your snap. Although I either have to put in a second snap or replace the little snap I have with a big snap because if I bend over, it unsnaps. So I figured I'll give you a little quick look about how does it look at the end of it all. Oh, and then um, for the hem, this is actually something I did too. I looked up a tutorial on how to hem a, a curved edge because every time you try to do it straight, it will bubble, which is really annoying and you don't want it to do that. So what I essentially did was fold up a small amount and stitch that down on a long stitch and then I folded that up again to go ahead and, there we go, um, have my nice, my end nice and straight. Okay, so that's what it looks like in the front. I know it's gonna be really hard, so. I went ahead and I shortened it, so it's, instead of being super long, it's nice and short now. And then, let's just let's go there for a minute. There is like no good place to film in my house. That is what it looks like in the back. It is a nice, really super full skirt, which I like. It does the twirl. I wonder if there is a way. I'm not going to stand on this hope chest, but it does the front. And then the other favorite part is that it's kind of like two dresses in one. Business in the front. And then you flip it around and you can wear it party in the back, which we think is kind of fun. And I'm just going to keep it reversible, I think. Like, I'm not going to decide that I have to wear it one way or the other. You will, however, probably need some tape because um, you get you get chest. But yeah, so it is. She's done. Yeah, I love her. I didn't actually end up doing bias tape around the hem. I just, like I said, folded it up two times and did it. Let's see if I can get you a good twirl shot. Yeah, it's sideways. There's no good place to do this. Well, I was going to do the best I can. Glad I'm wearing shorts right now. But yeah, it does the thing. So, all right. So, all that being said, uh, it was, like I said, a super... Oh, God, sorry. I'm a mess. She was a super easy project. I... I'm glad I went ahead and went with it. So, Simplicity 8085 came out great, super easy. I'm waiting for my belt buckle to arrive. It hasn't even shipped yet as far as I can tell. But I'll probably uh, do a little, you know, addendum when that gets here. But honestly, I already sewed the belt and it is done. All I need to do is literally get the belt buckle, loop the end over, stitch it down, and then you just fold the belt through. It's not like I have to add belt holes or anything for, I don't really know what to call it when you have the belt that's got the pointy bit, but this is just literally a fold over back through belt. So yeah, 50s sewing journey complete. Thank you for taking this little journey with me. Again, uh, we all like the back better which is so funny. Like this should be the front. It's cuter. This is kind of plain. I don't know, but it gets the job done. It's super fun and cute. I, I don't know when I'm going to wear it, but we'll find a time. And, uh, yeah, so stay haunted everybody and, uh, stay vintage. Bye. Two of those. Whoa! Hi! What? You're live. What? Ugh, I'm not opening the window. Come here. Cat content. Making you dicky that way. His fur is sticking to my face grease. What? I'm not opening the window. No. No, no, no. No, I'm not going to go unmove everything because 
this is the state of my sewing room right now, and he wants me to clear off the entire path to there and open that, and I am not doing it right now.